Your Excellency, the Mother of the State, and wife of the Governor of the Lagos State, my fathers in the Lord, may the Lord bless you, sirs. Mothers in the Lord, may the Lord bless you. Our Father, the Father of the Fathers, Papa W. F. Kumuyi, may the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I just want us to worship the Lord for one moment before we go on. Above all kings, Thank you, Jesus.
today you will reign in the name of the Lord Jesus you are the Alpha and the Omega the beginning and the ending the first and the last the one who was is and forever you are the Jehovah El Shaddai you are the Jehovah Shabbat ever present with your own children. You are the Jehovah Sabaoth, the man of war, the one who fights the battles of his children and gives them victory. You are the Jehovah Rapha, our healer. Everyone here in this auditorium today is healed by your healing power. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are all in all, Jehovah. Blessed be your name, O God. We are standing on the ground. And I know that there are angels. Oh. to everlasting in Jesus name God bless you all please be seated and once again as the humble chairman of Christian Association of Nigeria and Lagos State I want to thank his excellency and my beloved mommy and all the entourage for accepting this invitation and coming to fellowship with the saints of God I want to acknowledge the presence of our fathers who are seated all over there. The Lord sees you and he will bless you in return. I want to acknowledge the entire executive of Lagos State. I know the body of the permanent secretary is here. I know the senior people in the administration, you are here to give thanks unto the Lord for the good thing the Lord has done for us in Lagos State. May the Lord bless all of you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May I just read quickly from the book of 1 Corinthians 9, and I read 24 to 27, and it says, Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain. And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown. We are incorruptible. I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight, so fight I, not as one that beateth the air. 
what I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. May you and I not be a castaway on the day of judgment in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As led by the Spirit of the Lord, I want to say a few things and go and sit down. Life is a race, friends, people of God. The race starts on the day a man is born, and it ends the day he dies. Many different races are embedded in the race of life. Whatsoever a man is called to do in life is a race. A clergyman is running a race. A professional is running a race. A businessman is running a race. A politician is running a race. For every race, there is a starting point. And there is a finishing point. I'm speaking this briefly on finishing well. And I pray that everyone here today will finish well. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yoruba people will say, Ibere. Amen. I will not want to speak in tongues much upon this holy altar. Again and again we've seen men start well in running the race of their lives. But they end badly. May you not end badly in the name of Jesus Christ. The book of 1 Kings 11, 1 to 11, if you have time you can read it. Two prominent characters were mentioned there. One, Solomon, and his father, David. The two of them run the race of their lives. David, whichever way you say he started, he ended well. Because he was a man after the heart of God. Solomon, his son, started well but he ended badly may you and i not end badly in jesus name may you and i not end in shame in the name of the lord jesus christ your excellency i can stand before god upon this altar you have started well and you will end well in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because we know you, we know your foundation, that is Christ Jesus. You will not fail. You will not flop. You will not stumble in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord has chosen you to rule Lagos. Ruling, sir. Is simply service unto God. I encourage you this day to serve your generation by the will of God. Acts 13 36 says, For David, after he had served his own generation by the will of God, fell asleep and was laid unto his fathers. He served his generation by the will of God. May you serve Lagos, which is the beginning of the great things God will do in your life. You will serve Lagos by the will of God and serve this nation. And speak it prophetically today by the will of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. David ended well. It will end well. I want you to pay attention, sir. 
given this word out before to the book of Second Samuel, chapter 23, read 1 to 4. The Bible says, now this be the last words of David. And David, the son of Jesse, said, and the man who was raised up on high, the anointed of the God of Jacob and the sweet psalmist of Israel said, verse 2, the spirit of the Lord spoke, spoke by me and his word was in my tongue. The God of Israel said, the rock of Israel spake to me, he that ruleth over men must be just ruling in the fear of God. And he, verse 4, and he shall be as the light of the morning. When the sun riseth, even a morning without clouds, as the tender grass springing out of the earth by clear shining after rain. When a ruler is given position to rule, he has no choice if he's a child of God, but to rule over men and be just ruling in the fear of the Lord. The Bible tells us, Ecclesiastes 12, 13 and 14, there is a conclusion to life. And it says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and obey his commandment. For this is the whole duty of man. I will be closer. But not without letting us know some important things that we must do to finish well. Whatsoever race you are running, I'm running a race. Whether you know it or not, you are running a race. To run the race of life and finish well, number one, we must run it with God. No one can run the race of life without Jesus Christ and finish well. No, it won't happen. It may be an illusion. You may think you are doing well. You are riding high. But without Jesus, you cannot finish well. It's not possible. God will never contradict his word. John 15, 5b says, Jesus said, without me, you can do nothing. Psalm 121, 127, excuse me, 127, 1 says, except the Lord builds the house, the laborers labor, but in vain. You will not labor in vain in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Hebrews 3, 4 says, all houses are built by some man, for he who builds all things is God. Number two, running the race to finish well you must run it in the fear of god and give him all the pleasure because the reason every man or woman is created is to give god pleasure to start a day at the end of the day you must ask yourself a question have i given god pleasure today number three we must run it to finish well, run it humbly. Humbly in the power of God. Pride goes before destruction. First Corinthians 15.10 says, I am who I am by the grace of God. Every one of us here, including our God, whom we love so much, is who he is by the grace of God. Some of us saw the testimony as a true child of God he gave at his headquarter church and it's gone viral. And people who are asking questions, they were asking me questions, is this, is that man a child of God in can? And I will stand because I went to meet people who knew him very closely. And they say, is a true child of God. This is the one we have been praying for for so long, a true child of God. <clears throat> Number four, you must run, we must run this race deliberately to win. And when 
some people were having a meeting one day and um, something happened and I said something. I said, uh, if I know a child of, I say a child of God, I know it. And it's only a child of God who I will back prayerfully because a child of God can never lose. We must run it deliberately to win. We must run it courageously. And then we must run it lawfully and justly in order to win. First Corinthians 9, 24, 26 that I read. And five, we must run it without worldly distractions. We must run it focusing on eternity. What shall it profit a man? I have I have, I have, my career took me all over the world. I was in the 70s, sat down with the treasurer of General Motors in America. I was sit down with the treasurer of Volkswagen in Wolfsburg. In These are people who run the economies of the world. And you see all these people with all their powers, the corporate powers. It is all vanity without Jesus Christ. The Bible says, watch that just man. His end shall be peace. May your end be peace in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We must run it focusing on eternity because the day is coming. Whether you've been president or governor of nation, you've been whatever you've been, President of banks, managing director of great corporate things, the day is coming that we'll give an account to God. Nothing. The only power there is that is power is the power of God. Every other power is transient. So transient. The same people were shouting, Hosanna to the Lord. Leave that seat. I've been in some seat of power a few times in my life. You leave, you are alone unless you have Christ. But the race of all the races, and I want to encourage all of us to run today because we're in this holy temple, is to run a race towards heaven because all my conclusion in life is to see Jesus Papa Adeboe invited me to minister at the Holy Ghost Congress 2017 December a few days before for the first time I had a revelation from heaven of the rapture and that was my ministration for the 25 minutes I was given on that day. He and I ministered on that first day of Monday. And I told the church, and I'll tell you, Jesus is not coming soon. He's coming now. Will you see Jesus? Thank you, Jesus. Sometimes. In the sky, I will see Jesus someday, sometime, sometime. In the sky, I will see my Redeemer sometime, sometime. In the sky, will you see Jesus? Thank you. God bless you. Someday, sometime in heaven above. 